how to radiate the queen feminine energy. But first, like and subscribe to this channel and share this content. Hit the notification bell so that you're aware when I post a brand new video. How can you radiate the feminine queen energy? Well, the first way you can do that is by having confidence. You must be confident in who you are as a woman. While some of us struggle with some insecurities, I think many of us do, as feminine women, you have to understand that you are number one. And you're not saying that as in you're superior to somebody else, but you have to understand that you are inferior to no one. And a woman that carries that feminine queen energy understands that she is number one in her world. She is the number one woman in her family. She is the number one woman within herself. She values herself and loves herself so much so that she sees herself as that girl. She doesn't feel intimidated by other women. She understands that her own feminine uniqueness is what makes her so much more attractive. So she doesn't feel the need to be jealous of other women. She is confident within herself and understands that she can be kind to other women. She can be kind to people she comes in contact with because they are no threat to her. She also knows how to validate herself. She doesn't need constant outside validation. Whether somebody tells her that she's great or not, she knows that she's great. A feminine woman, no doubt, loves to hear compliments. She respects them. She appreciates them. But she doesn't need validation. She knows who she is all by herself. She doesn't pander to people to try to get them to like her or to get them to do something for her or to try to be within the crowd. She's the type of woman that feels like and understands that people will gravitate to her. She sees herself as the feminine lead. And while we are more in the submissive position as the queen energy, as we operate in that, we are the leaders in our own minds, if that makes sense. We are the reigning queen. In my household, I see myself as the queen. I am the mother. I am the wife. And even apart from those roles, I am still a fabulous woman all on my own. I believe that way. And mostly for feminine divine women, our identity comes from our spirituality and our relationship with God. So when you believe who God says you are as a woman, and then when you add those roles to it as a wife, as a mother, as a daughter, whatever it is your role is, that is just the added frosting on your cake because you understand as a woman, you are fabulous all on your own. But then when you have these responsibilities and you make that impact in the lives of others, that just enhances your queendom, if that makes sense. So when you think of yourself as a queen, you are only self-focused. In this instance, it's good to be self-focused focus because when you eliminate looking at what everybody else is doing, when you eliminate trying to compare yourself to other women, when you eliminate that whole imposter syndrome and thinking that you're trying to copy someone and you're just being authentically who you are as a woman, you can reign more in that queen energy because you are seeing yourself as highly valuable. You're almost having like delusions of grandeur and there's nothing wrong with that. Don't let anybody think uh, make you think that you're a narcissist because you think highly of yourself. As long as the way you think about yourself doesn't cause you to do things that harm other people, it's absolutely fine for you to see yourself as that girl or thus as a queen. And then also a woman that operates in the queen energy, she is a woman that is dedicated to getting her own agendas done. So she doesn't look to other people to give her what she needs. She understands that by how she carries herself, those things will naturally come to her. Number one, her faith is what will allow her to receive the things that she needs. And then her character, the way that she's being, that aura that she gives off, people are drawn to that. People want to do for you. People want to give to you. When you are a feminine woman, when you are a divinely feminine woman and you operate in that queen energy, people are more receptive of you. So you don't have to really do much to try to pressure somebody. Like you don't have to sales pitch somebody into being there for you or doing something for you. When you, when you carry that queen energy, people want to be around that. It's like this regal type of energy that you carry that says that she is amazing, like she's not like any other woman. And it's very understated, as in 
it's more of our presence and less about our words. I have been in so many situations and not to come off conceited, but as you know, if you've been on this channel any amount of time, I don't care if it comes off conceited, but if you are the type of woman that carries that queen energy, people are like in awe of you. They look at you like, where are you from? You know, some people might say to you, like, where are you from? You know, and you could be, you know, you're American, you're, you're African American, you're whatever, you know, you're from just the States, but they're going to think there's something unique or exotic about you because of how you carry yourself. It's more of an inter spiritual way that you carry yourself as a woman. It's that spirit of God on the inside of you. If you're a divine feminine woman, that's radiating to people. And then also, if you are a genuinely kind woman that shows gratitude, that is another way that you express the queen energy because you are, you know, you are honestly happy and you show gratitude for the things that you have and the people you have in your life. When you carry that queen energy, you treat your house like it is your castle. You treat your cozy place like it is your throne. You don't mind, you know, doing little things that are going to enhance your coziness and enhance your comfort. You don't mind, you know, giving time and attention to the people you love the most because you want to nurture them as the feminine energy normally does. But when you are in that queen energy, you have that heightened sense of that where you look at people as an extension of yourself i.e. your children, your husband, your immediate family, whatever task that you're doing, you do it with a spirit of excellence about you. And it's not that you're striving and hustling like men, but when we do things, we look to excel in them. The, the woman with the queen energy, she feels like if she's going to be doing something, she's going to make sure that it is the greatest that it's ever been. She's going to leave her mark on whatever and whoever she is dealing with in the moment. As I said in a previous video, people that come in contact with her, she often makes an impact on them and they leave better than what they were. The woman with the queen energy, she has the ability to do that. So she's a nurturer and she shows gratitude. And then also you display the queen energy and how you honor your boundaries and your beliefs. So a woman that is a queen and has a queen mindset, she can't be easily swayed by what other people are doing. She's not a woman that is easily persuaded to get away from her belief, to get away from her boundary. She is not a woman that can be talked into doing something foolish. She possesses wisdom. So a woman that understands that she has boundaries when it comes to dating. She's not going to sleep with somebody on the first date. She's not going to sleep with somebody before marriage. She's not going to, you know, dress certain ways or go to certain places. She's not going to allow somebody to talk her into going against that boundary. The woman in the queen energy understands that she values her boundaries. They are a place of safety for her and she's not going to go past them in order to please somebody else. And then she honors her devotion to God. When she has a relationship with the Lord, if you're a divine feminine woman, you honor that relationship and you put that first above everything else. So when your identity comes from God, nobody can tell you anything. And that, again, might sound very cocky or arrogant, but if you know who God says you are as a woman and you read scriptures that say that you are a royal priesthood, you know, that you're not for common use. If you are a wife and you see that a man that finds a wife finds a good thing, you elevate yourself in that way. And it's not in a unhealthy, narcissistic way. It's just knowing your identity and not allowing anybody to get you to think otherwise. Many women suffer from low self-esteem because they allow people to get into their mind and tell them that they are not as great as they are. And the reason being is because you don't believe that you're great. If you really believed about yourself that you are valuable, that you are great, that you are worthy, nobody would be able to tell you anything. Somebody can say something to you. They can say, you know, your dress is ugly. But if you truly believe in your mind and you put the dress on and you feel fabulous and you know you look cute, nobody can tell you anything. But when you are a woman that suffers from low self-esteem or you don't have a self-confidence, somebody can make one little remark and that will cause you to rethink your entire outfit, your entire existence. And a woman that is operating in the queen feminine energy, no matter what someone says, she believes her opinion about herself over that of someone else. The feminine queen energy 
understands that she appreciates and she hears people. But at the end of the day, she's going to do what's best for her. She values her own self-worth and her own self-concept over that of other people. Now, the woman that's in the queen energy, that doesn't mean that she's not open to criticism. But once again, when you are certain, and for me, if you have that divine connection, you have that relationship with God, nobody can tell you anything. When you know that you're living in a certain boundary and you're doing and you're seeing the fruit of how you're living, your life is relatively good. You're seeing good things come out of how you're living. And I'm not just talking about material things. I'm talking about your character and how you carry yourself and how people respond to you and how your family is thriving. Nobody can tell you anything because being in the queen energy, it has less to do with what you have and more to do with who you are. You can have all the lavish things. You can have, you know, houses, cars, land. You can take extravagant trips. But if you are a woman that lacks character and lacks confidence, you are not in the queen energy and you can easily be persuaded to do things that will cause you to eventually lose the lifestyle that you are living. So when you're operating in the queen energy, it's not about lifestyle. It's about you as a woman. It's more intrinsic value and in how you carry and see yourself. So as a feminine woman, it is important that you possess that queen feminine energy, that confident way about yourself that says, nobody can tell me anything. And if I understand and I value myself and I know who God says that I am as a woman, as a divine feminine woman, I'm not going to be persuaded to do things that are caused that are going to cause me to live less than what I deserve. I'm not going to be persuaded to do things that are going to make me look less than what I am as a woman. I know my worth. All right. Like and subscribe to this channel and share this content. Hit the notification bell so that you're aware when I post a brand new video. If you watch this video until the very end, Hit that high hill emoji and leave it in the comment section. Take care.